Hey guys, I got a viewer question who wants to know how to sync or cycle with the moon. Um, guys, you pay attention too. There might be something in here for you. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Laura Giles and I am going to tell you how to sync your cycle in six steps. So the very first one is if you're on the pill, got to get off the pill. It's not going to happen if you are taking uh, uh, pharmaceutical contraceptives because that's going to interfere with your um, hormone production. So that's got to stop. And, and it's going to take a while after you get off a pill. The pill is really not body friendly at all. So if you have other op um Alternatives to birth control, I would highly suggest that you do that. It's not, not a very body friendly thing to do. Number two is document your cycles and document where the moon is. This is gonna give you information so that you know how close you are. Are you cycling with the new moon? Are you cycling with the full moon? Um, most women are going to cycle with the new moon. Um, but some flip-flop and sometimes you're going to go from one to the other. So the, think about this, okay? So the new moon is like fall. This is when your body is shedding that uterine lining and um, things are dying, okay? And in the spring, that's the full moon. This is when things are ripening and becoming ready for uh, planting. So that's kind of how you think of it. Most Most women are going to... Uh, cycle with the new moon. Okay, number three is you've got to have a healthy lifestyle. If you're not cycling with the moon, it could be because your body's just not as healthy as it could be. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about meditation. So your body needs time every day to rest and kind of reset and go back to zero. And that's what meditation is going to do for you. You need exercise. Your body needs to move. Um, I'm not talking about training for a marathon. I'm just talking about moving around. Most of us sit all day long and that's not going to be good for you. So the next thing is you got to eat fresh alive foods because your body needs nutrients to do everything it needs to do. And you can't have hormone production and energy production and all the things that you need to do if you're not giving your body the nutrients that it needs. So fresh alive foods, that's going to be things on the outside edges of your grocery store going to be things that you get from the farmer's market. So no pop tarts there, no um, packaged cereals there. And a lot of times people think, well, I'm a vegetarian, I'm healthier than other people. But that's not actually true if you're eating processed foods as a vegetarian. So it's not about whether you eat meat or don't eat meat. It's about whether or not you're getting fresh alive foods. Number four is pay attention to the cycle. So we already documented all this stuff. Where's the moon? Where's my body? And then you're going to need to follow those cycles. So what am I talking about? If you document, you're going to notice that during the new moon, your energy is lower. This makes sense because it's time for your body to be resting. And then on the full moon, um, you know, Luna is about lunacy, craziness, lots of energy, movement. Of course, it's quite the opposite. You're going to have a lot more energy flowing at that time. It's time to be more active. And um, so as you notice your cycles fluctuating, then follow that. Take it easy when you need to take it easy and speed it up and be more active and be out there when the moon is growing. The next thing you can do is moon bathe. So we need to be in contact with the moon. We're not outside enough. Actually, you could even sunbathe, be outside, just be outside. But particularly spend some time out in the moon. This soaking up the moon beams is really going to help your body just to kind of connect with that energy. It's kind of a subtle thing, but if you do it, you'll notice the difference. Moon bathing is one of my favorite things. There is a video in the archives about that. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. And last but not least, use less artificial light. So our bodies are regulated, or they used to be before electricity, quite a lot by the sun and the moon. And now we have all this artificial light, all these things that are plugged, night lights and all that. All of that makes a difference. So it's not just about um, how much light there is, but there's just light all around us. We're never in darkness. So what I would do, get yourself some blackout blinds, cut out all the lights, no lights from your phone, no lights from a, a night light, no lights from a clock, total darkness, sleep that way, 
I wake up with the sun. It's kind of hard to do that if you have blackout blinds in. But <laughs> if you know when that's going to be, let yourself wake up with the sun. Get out in the sun. Um, if you can, before you go to sleep, turn out all the lights and do candlelight for like the last hour. That's going to help your body adjust to the more nat natural cycles too. And of course, that's the whole point of doing all this is so that you can be in more of a natural flow with your body and the universe. So if this video was helpful for you, please like, share, subscribe. You can even donate, buy me a coffee. There's a link down below. And I can't wait to see you on the next pan video. Keep those questions coming. Thanks.